to edit the text on your Squarespace 7.1 website. We're going to start with the page where we want to edit. Now, in my case, I'm going to be editing the home page, so I'm already there. If I click over here on pages, I can see the outline of my pages, and here is the home page where I have um, this site currently open. I want to edit the text here in the middle, so I'm going to start by choosing edit here at the top left of the screen, and then I'll see that I am in editing mode. As I move my cursor around, I see that this is in fact a text box, and to edit this text, I just need to click in the box and then type my new text. So I can either highlight everything and delete, I can just begin typing over. Um, can't type and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, this is uh, my new text, so I'm just simply typing on my keyboard. I can also copy and paste text from another application. If I do that, I want to use this little edit um, paste as plain text shortcut. So I would copy the text from another source and then I would click here and paste my text into the box and then click OK. And that will just take any of the formatting out of that text. Now, once I have my new text placed, I can then begin to format the text. This is our text toolbar, which includes all the information you will need to edit your text. For example, bold and italics. Um, these are your justifications. And this is the justification within the text box itself. So it's not going to put this text all the way to the left here, but because this is the box that the text is in, it's going to be left of the box. Um, you do not have fonts or colors. Those are dis, um, set for you back in the design menu, but you are able to change the style. So if you click here, right here in the middle, you have um, several different paragraph choices and then four heading choices as well. Um, you typically want to use the medium paragraph for any body text. That is what Google will pick up as the main paragraph text for your site. For your headings, you can use any of the headings with extra large heading being um, essentially an H1 heading and then down to H2, H3, and H4. So you have lots of different size choices there. You also have um, numbers and bullets and then indentations for those lists as well. So lots of formatting choices here. Um, so again, um, you can play around with your different uh, paragraph settings, headings, those kinds of things. Now you will notice over here to the right a pencil. This formatting menu is for the section itself. So this is your entire section um, of your page. And if I were to click this pencil, I would see um, options for the section. This would include the height of the section so I can easily go to um, a larger height. If I want somewhere in between the small, medium, and large, I can click the ellipses and then I can manually adjust the height that way. Um, and then I can also adjust the content width. So we can see here that my text box is centered um, in the um, small part of the section, but if I could extend that to medium, if I had more text here, you would see um, that that would expand the section a bit. So I could say I want this to be large and that would put all of that on one line. And again, manual adjustment here, and then as well as aligning the content to the um, top, center, or bottom of the section. Um, you also have choices for the background of your section using an image um, or a video, or um, you can manually adjust the colors using your themes. And there is more information about um, styling your section in um, a separate video. This video is um, particularly for your text editing. So that is how you edit your text. When you are finished, you will come up to done and save your changes. Are you looking for more resources to help your nonprofit grow its reach and impact? Unlock my free nonprofit resource library that includes exclusive workbooks, templates, and training videos to help you tell more people about the incredible work you are doing. Just go to 19design.net to get your access right now. Until then, keep making a great first impression online.